Hey, you guys, it's Sunshine Vibes with the High Vibrations. If y'all new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for subscribing to your girl. Love and life to you all. I hope everybody's doing good. <laughs> all right, y'all, okay. So I'm gonna tap in and see what messages I have for you all today, okay? The messages may not resonate with everyone, so take what resonates. If it does not resonate, then leave it. Okay, I'm being called to pull out my blessings, y'all. So let's see what we get. random pullouts okay very random we have it is more blessed to give than to receive okay amen so some of y'all in this energy you could be giving and being a blessing to yourself to your community to those around you okay or just to your family right <clears throat> so somebody's understanding that you gotta be a blessing okay sometimes the blessing is you and sometimes you are the blessing What's going on with the collective? Mm, give me one card for the collective. What is going on with the collective? Divine film. Okay. So you guys are in your divine feminine energy, right? You are understanding your connection to all creation. You're increasing your frequency here. Some of y'all being called to use your discernment. Somebody wants y'all to be grieving about something. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, so it's giving me this energy. Somebody could be trying to guilt trip you. I was just saying this earlier. So people, when you are in a different frequency, or on a different frequency, uh, people will try to lower your vibration. Somebody needs to understand that the past does have a, I mean, the past, yeah, the past does have a future. Okay, so it's almost like a, Say you are moving forward in life, okay? Somebody is like constantly bringing up the past or they could be trying to guilt trip you, make you feel some type of way about a mistake that you made in the past, okay? Oh, understand this is just a mistake. Don't let people, y'all, where the freak did this fly come from? This monitor spirit, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, uh, right. <laughs> it, it, it landed right on top of my, it was 222 as I said that too. Landed right on top of my, water my glass of water that i have on my desk for a reason like so yeah somebody is monitoring you somebody's like keeping up with your progress as well so people could be keeping up with your healing progress because healing's at the bottom of the deck so you guys are consciously using the information that comes through your senses you're harmonizing everything okay so somebody doesn't like the fact that you are awakened you have awakened to your identity, to your true being here, to your higher conscious, and somebody doesn't like that. Somebody's like trying to bring up your past. They're trying to guilt trip you. Somebody's trying to make you feel bad about losing something and that is not really a loss, okay? Yeah, adversity. I can't make this shit up, y'all. You guys are facing challenges, but I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Understand that whatever you are losing is for your higher self it's for a bigger purpose so it's like don't dwell on the things that you lost i feel a big regret and grieving energy you guys could be crying okay if you are in this energy it is because somebody is projecting this they want you to dwell on the past they want you to keep they want to keep you stuck because you are facing challenges somebody wants you to feel like um you will never get over that or you will never get through that yes you will okay continue to keep your vibrations high i just feel a real yucky energy from this like i don't even feel like it's your energy but we're gonna see where this energy is coming from because yeah denial it's like people are not trying to face the truth about you yeah that you're clearing your karma somebody is blaming you okay for their judgment so somebody's under some type of going through some type of karma or, okay we have denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness if you guys are in denial when it comes to your challenges i feel like this is because somebody is projecting this on you give me one more just that i can't make this shit up y'all <laughs> okay i cannot make this up we have abundance <laughs> I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Somebody wants you to grieve about 
overcoming challenges and be in denial because your challenges, somebody wants you to feel like your challenges is defining you. Like, no, your challenges like mold you. These obstacles that you are facing are supposed to be molding you on your journey, okay? You're supposed to be learning from these. This is why we have spiritual awakening, shift or be shifted. So this goes back to a download I got. I did write some stuff down. Hold on one second. Okay, so understand that the universe works with you, okay? And sometimes when you are in this energy and you are shifting your perspective and you are expanding your horizon, the universe will cause a shift in your life. And if it's like meant for you to be shifted, like if it's meant for you to get out of your comfort zone, your world will be shaken, even if you don't want it to. That's like uh, consciously, this is just an a example. Uh, sometimes we lose things that we are not in alignment with anymore. It could be people, it could be uh, an environment, okay? When you are not in alignment with this environment, then we lose it. If you are in alignment with that, with something at the time, it's because that was the vibration. So you could manifest cert certain energies on certain vibrations, right? Around certain vibrations. And when you are expanding, things will shift. But we also have to understand, we have to let go of expectation, right? Because this is something that has to do with you shifting your focus. So the download I got was from Einstein, okay? Energy cannot be created or destroyed. The universe is a closed system. So let's go back to what I was saying about a reading that I did the other day. Y'all, my tongue's tied in the motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so we are fighting a system and we have to learn <laughs> that energy is energy. So when people try to come in your energy and destroy your what it is that you are manifesting or destroy or distort your view, it's because they want your energy, okay? Somebody really wants your energy, but they have to understand that energy has always been the same, but it takes, it, it is consistently changing, meaning like when people change, their energy, they vibrate higher, right? It's like you really don't change who you are, but you change your vibration, right? Because it's like, I'm going to be who I'm going to be, you know what I mean? But I'm going to vibrate higher because I still want better for me. So it's like giving me this energy. Somebody wanted to destroy your energy, destroy your essence. They wanted you to feel like you was going to be stuck in your failures. But even when with energy constantly changing, we put hard work into things and we, we we expect immediate results, right? So it's like people think that, okay, for example, spirituality, when people manifest, they think, oh, how are you doing it? And they think it's thin air. Like, no, people really have to like, some people really have to reprogram their whole system to be able to manifest or to even be in this energy because it's a belief. So even if you don't believe in God, okay, whatever you believe in, if you have a religion, okay, whatever it is, it's like it starts with a belief. You know what I'm saying? So you have to believe in something, even if it's, this is yourself. We have 11-11, I am enough at her. Let go of expectations. You have to let go of your expectation if you are trying to manifest something because you're not going to get immediate results, positive results anyway. It's going to take time, effort, and process and focus on the process, not the final outcome. So if you are trying to manifest, you cannot, it's like meditating on it every day. You can meditate on there every day, but it doesn't mean that you're expecting it for it to happen to overnight. It's like you can't expect the final outcome right then and there. So this is why I feel like a lot of people get confused with spirituality. So you guys can be spiritual and somebody could be confused with like how you are manifesting and they have to understand that it took it took time. Okay, it's taking you time. It, it has taken time. Um, nothing has happened for you overnight. It's you trusting your process. When you trust the universe and you put, you know, like you putting God first, like you just, you, you know, you trust in the universe. You trust in, you know, 
you're believing in something. So this is helping you shift your focus. So when you're shifting your focus, not on the outcome, but on what it is you are putting your time and efforts in, it changes things. It shifts things in your life, okay? Because understand that we don't control outcomes. Even with these messages, like, I've heard people get readings before and they're like, well, this lady told me I was this was going to happen, but it happened to me. We do not control outcomes. Things happen every day beyond our control. So it's like, understand that you can have all the knowledge in the world, but it does not mean that things cannot change. Okay, things change in different ways for different people. Um, but I guess you guys are being called to step out your comfort zone here and grow. You guys could be seeing 111 a lot, 333, and 777 as well. Okay, but you guys are being called to shift your focus. Because I feel like it's just a lot of energy that is like trying to figure out or they want to know what you're manifesting. Okay. So let's see. What deck do I want to use? I'm sorry, y'all. Because I know sometimes. Ooh, going on with this energy give me one for this energy for the collective what's going on why is grief her why is grief her for divine film anxiety so somebody's afraid somebody's scared if this is you guys somebody is gossiping so somebody's afraid because they gossip about you what is this why is anxiety panic here Give me one card, A groupie. So somebody, like I said, <laughs> is a happiness hater. You have somebody in your energy that is hating on your happiness. They are hating on your adversity. So say you face challenges, but <laughs> you are learning. Somebody is hating on this. This is somebody that like is constantly looking you up. So like I said, somebody is looking you up because they are realizing that you are abundant and you are being shifted, but your abundance is coming from letting things go, okay? So you can let things flow, but this is a groupie. This is a hater. So this is somebody that talk about you behind your back. Somebody's doing a lot of projection on you right now because somebody's just hating on you. Yeah, unfazed. You could be unbothered. This is another reason why somebody's mad because you're ignoring them. This is why they are in denial. Somebody feel like you got something to prove. You know, you're too busy, busy winning. I feel like you do not have anything to prove. You are just being yourself. Like I said, you are being shifted. Somebody's going to have to let something go. I said this in the last read, and somebody is resisting change, and that's not good. We have love triangle. Could be a third party here. Somebody who was dealing with multiple levels. Somebody, somebody was dealing with like a groupie. Or somebody became a fan of you. This is the energy I'm getting. Where's my little triangle? Impersonator. Somebody was trying to be like you. This is somebody somebody's having a love affair with that's a divination abuser that they could have been giving money to. A divine masculine. So maybe you dealt with somebody here that somebody was giving money to that was trying to act like you, that wants to be like you, dresses like you, copies like you. Somebody was dealing with your doppelganger. Why is impersonated her? Yeah, this person was like focused on you, fascinated, looking you up, okay? Somebody was really looking you up, trying to look into your life, trying to see what, what it was, how you are doing something. And somebody is on the verge about to confess something to you. This could be anybody, okay? This could be anybody that was trying to act like you. A family member that you cut off, okay? Or somebody that was dealing with a third party. Mm. Yeah, I can't make this up. We got cursed and right. So somebody was trying to curse you, right? With misfortune. Somebody hates your abundance. They hate on your growth. Her. So they did magic on you? This could even be like, 
work magic. Somebody is doing a lot of projection. Somebody wants you to be an energy of grieving, but you are too busy winning. It's like <sighs> y'all are literally out of space right now. It's that's the energy I'm getting. Like you're out of space right now. You are not even paying attention to this person, and this is why they are mad. Why is anxiety here? Yeah. So somebody's mad because they couldn't put an end to you, into something here. Why is Groupie here? Saving. Yeah, so somebody really tried to put an end to your finances or your career. You persevering, you moving forward. Somebody was just gossiping, trying to predict your life. Okay, somebody was trying to predict that you was going to be in danger. And this could be like a group of people, like a group of people here that do not like you. They like teamed up together and you still unfazed. You could be saving or you could be trying to save. Somebody's not relaxed or at peace because you are unfazed by something that they did. Why is too busy winning her? Yeah, somebody feels overloaded because you're winning. So somebody is just looking at you, want to be like you. Somebody was tempted. So say if somebody had a lover, okay? Somebody tempt somebody here to try to trap you. This could be family here that is suffering from going on this adventure or having passion when it comes to your religion. Somebody wanted to confuse you. They are worried that you are getting support and blessings. So somebody that was trying to be like you was tempted. Like it was like, it was so tempting. So you guys, something could be so tempting to somebody. Like, like I said, if you manifest, they, they figured that they could do this ritual on you because they figured this is how you are manifesting through rituals. And say for instance, if you guys do do rituals, like self healing rituals, somebody thought that like, that's how you manifest. But no, it's like, shit didn't happen overnight for you. It took you time. Yeah, and somebody didn't want to hurt that. They was like, nah. Somebody was like, I don't want her at. I don't believe that. Somebody was like, I'm just going to be like you. <laughs> I'm going to act like you. I'm going to dress like you. I'm going to talk like you. I'm going to walk like you. And <laughs> that's weird. Like, be yourself. And you could have told this person, like, I'm not doing anything. I'm being myself. And they got mad. Like, how are you being yourself? So somebody's about to confess something to you. What are they about to confess? For, um, that you love yourself. <laughs> damn y'all so somebody is about to confess to you that you love yourself or they are they could be confessing this to somebody this third party is because telling somebody like yeah this person really loved themselves i was really in denial because they was getting a victory and they are lucky you guys could be lucky and winning because you withdrew from this person and they are mad over love they got proof when it comes to your religion. They was praying, getting donations, okay, to cause confusion to a sweetheart that care about themselves. <laughs> so somebody was like doing the most, like getting people to feel some type of way about you and your spirituality or if it's not spirituality, your adversity. Somebody's like, look at them. I'm like literally hearing this. Look at them. They had, they was laughing. Somebody's like, look at them. Ha ha ha. They facing adversity. And they, they wanted you to feel like that was the end all be all. But it's not. If somebody has anxiety about this. I can't make this up. We have justice. They were not thinking logic. Somebody's like, yeah, this person loves themselves and they love being introverted. So you are separate. You're private. And this is putting somebody in a lot of conflict. Somebody feel like this was a big risk they took. Yeah, somebody is stressed out. They cannot sleep at night. Okay, this person is so disturbed. I can't make this up. We got stressed. Somebody has a headache about your calm. Like, it, it's making them sick. It's like, quit being calm. Quit. <laughs> it's like, you can't help it. Whatever this is, you cannot help it. It's just literally because it's the universe is shifting your focus. Like... It's like, okay, I can't help that my vibration is too high. It's like you could be telling somebody this. Like, it's like somebody don't understand energy. Like, so why was they trying to be like you if they don't understand energy? Okay. Why was this person trying to be like a collector if they don't understand energy? Because they wanted your gift. Hm. Somebody wanted your gift. 
So they thought they could bind you with a ritual. Somebody really was trying to like Destiny Swamp. This is the energy I'm getting. They thought it was a good idea to collaborate against somebody who was preserved. They knew they worth. Now they feel disturbed by you persevering. So when you started facing these challenges, it was like somebody wanted to leave you in the dirt. Like, like I said, they was laughing about it because they, ha ha ha, somebody was like, literally thought they had your gift. And it was like, what? Hold on. The universe had like to smack this person in the face. Like, literally somebody is having to reflect and look in the mirror. Okay? Because it's like they can't copy you anymore. Because you are a gift. You are the gift. Yeah, dominate. They wanted to dom They wanted to dictate everything. They wanted to dictate your gift. So if they couldn't have your gift, they wanted to dictate it. They wanted to dictate how people see you. Okay? And somebody sees you are responsible. Somebody's like, yeah. This person is responsible. And whatever this person tried to do to you, it's like... It's, it's it's some type of energy like if you lost a car or you lost a job like it's normal stuff like shit happens every day like I said some things are just beyond our control so it's like yeah all you have to do is plant another seed and stay calm through the chaos we have calm inner peace and creativity vitality you still have inner peace to be able to create something new And somebody's getting evidence about this. So this is now, now they're worried. What they worried about? Yeah, they worry because you could have good ideas. So maybe you do have good ideas and somebody just wanted you to feel like you was losing. Somebody really wanted to feel like you was losing because you loved yourself. Yeah, because they was doing a ritual. So somebody literally wanted you to be by yourself. Like, that's what they wanted. They wanted to protest against you. They had people in an illusion about you. And they were pretending and wishing that you would be depressed and paranoid and feel trapped in a victim. But you guys don't feel like a victim. You kept persevering through challenges. And somebody feel like this collaboration wasn't even worth it because now they are disturbed and going through conflicts. Wow. Because somebody was in their pride while you was living and learning. So like I said, you guys are learning that you got to be the energy that you want to attract. You guys are learning that you got to be that energy. You got to be a blessing, okay? Because <laughs> somebody didn't want you to get your blessings. They didn't want you to feel like a gift. Or... Yeah, justice is seven of cups. They wanted you in an illusion. But you about to get justice. So stay grounded on her because somebody wants you to be a fur anxiety. Give me one card for the collective. Towel. Somebody is going through major eruptions right now. Somebody's going through a lot right now because of the turmoil they try to project onto you. Yeah, King of Wands. Because somebody was passionate. So somebody's intentions was for you to be in the tower. I feel like, you know, things would never come together for you. They wanted you to walk away from your gifts. So if you have gifts, they wanted you to stop your talents. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. But I feel like this is your ancestors literally guiding you. They are trying to motivate you. They are trying to keep you grounded. Okay, because you guys are independent, self-sufficient here. Oh, we... We got the high priest, the devil with the moon. Somebody is like a dark high priestess here. So somebody was trying to copy you. Yeah, they was like, uh, I'm her evil twin. <laughs> so you got an evil twin. Somebody was trying to copy you. Yeah, because you're a queen of cups. You very nurturing, loving, and caring her. Yeah, queen of swords in reverse. I just seen them. So this could be somebody that like sleeps around a lot. Yeah, we have the star card. You guys are a healer. There's something you are doing. You healing. And you're resting now. So, like I said, you could be facing adversity and you could be like at rest. And somebody is like 
trying to figure out. It's like somebody really wants you to face more adversity. It's like, no, you ain't gone through what everything that I want to put you through. Three of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Somebody wants to end your destiny and they're doing magic. They're working with other people to do this as well. Five of Wands. I can't make this shit up, y'all. Five of Pentacles. Somebody's working hard to like, get you left out in the cold or to get you broke. Like It's, it's like a lot of weird shit going on. The half freaks, but you know. So with you having this insight and awareness of what somebody's doing, it's like it's it's pretty stupid. Okay. So this person could think they just so smart, but they're not. You're smarter than what you think. I feel like you guys somebody projected for you to be in a denial, but this person is in denial here. Whatever they did, they are not re reaping any type of benefits from this. This is why they are crying. This is why they are in deep regret. Because somebody sees that you are enlightening her. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands. This has something to do with the past. This could be like somebody that you are close to her. Somebody was really intimidated by your success. Yeah, judgment. Ten of Cups. This could be somebody you have a family with or somebody in your family. We have the Eight of Cups because you guys could be like a Earth Angel, Temperance, or this is Archangel Michael here, literally. Okay, changing the wheel for you, ending something here when it comes to somebody's stability because somebody did not want to stop doing something. So now they're facing judgment. Clarify. Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Some Somebody cannot juggle being you yeah pay the stories they're watching to see what they invested in if it worked and they're not it's not working it's like the five of swords with the magician it's like this magic it's like they feel defeated and they can't they can't even balance out what they got going on it's like something about the energy they can't you cannot fake this energy <laughs> like there are people out here that fake this. So some things you cannot just fake. You can't fake being a divine film. Like, it's either you a divine film or you a distorted feminine. <laughs> like, literally. And somebody's a distorted feminine. We got the Herify and the King of Cups. Herify the Herify and the King of Cups. With the Death. So somebody could be ending something here. So it could be somebody breaking like a belief. It is a divine counterpart. So maybe this has to do with another lover. Yeah, justice. So you about to get justice. Somebody's like about to bring you justice or this is just your justice. This is something, like I said, somebody's being called to shift, to shift or be shifted because you cannot stay stuck. So like if you are raising your vibration, it's like, you cannot stay stuck no matter how much magic somebody does. They're going to be stressed out. Ace of Wands. Because you're going to have clarity. Somebody has clarity that you are an empress. This is why they are holding you close. They have to communicate something to you here. We got the Ace of Cups with the Two of Swords. So somebody's making a decision to go towards a new beginning here. This could be you guys moving forward. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Come on, boo. Somebody's definitely making a decision here because somebody feels foolish. Yeah, Seven of Cups, dealing with these other options. Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Because, yeah, somebody did something for money. This is what they're not getting. So somebody was trying to manifest. Say, say somebody was trying to manifest th through another lover. Like, what? Instead of... Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. But somebody could have been trying to manifest through a lover. Yeah, three of pentacles and they was working hard with a group of people to manipulate a situation so somebody was trying to manipulate energy that's what spirit says so say if you for instance if you are a reader okay yeah queen of swords she was trying to manipulate energy to end end your strength yeah that's what it was she was trying to end your strength she didn't want you to receive something her because you was the real empress or somebody didn't want somebody to see that you were the real empress queen of pentacles in reverse i can't make this shit up this woman, she's money hungry. She worked with people behind the scenes. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, come on through. And was watching this emperor to see if it was working. Somebody else could have been doing work on the emperor to come in or they could have been working with the emperor to defeat you. 
almost to like take you out or to take your it's like to hurt you this could be like act like they love you or act like they care about you yeah four cups but you rejected this person yeah ace of wands and that was the right thing to do because i feel like you had clarity here yeah ace of swords with the lovers y'all can't make this up you had clarity here when it comes to a lover seven of cups that something was an illusion Yeah, Page of Cups, Nine of Wands. Now somebody is like st stuck in this childish energy. They feel trapped because this is the energy they was projecting on you. Tempers in reverse. This person is like unbalanced. So somebody cannot even balance their emotions right now. It's like they all over the place. They they four houses in and I'm hearing because this is the Ten of Swords with the Four of Wands. Somebody wanted to end your stability, your love offers. They was watching to see if something was working. And it's like, whatever they did, it left them unbalanced and you are still happy. The sun card. So something's still okay for you. Five of Pentacles, but this person feels left out in the cold. Yeah, Queen of Wands. It's in the upright. So you guys could just be in this energy. You feel confident. Maybe you have lost some, some things, okay? Maybe you are going through a little, a little heartbreak, but it's like you're still confident. So it's like... Somebody didn't break your confidence. If they could break your confidence, they could break your energy. They could break your energy field. Yeah, the emperor, but you have somebody here. You have an emperor in your energy. You have somebody that supports you. Okay, yeah, the hang one, and you're enlightened. This person is enlightened as well. Like I said, that somebody's been doing magic on you, and somebody's gonna, like, help you. Yeah, two of swords with the seven of swords. They're gonna help you, like, get away because somebody was... So yeah, somebody is blocking all of this energy from you. Hopefully it don't cut off y'all. But yeah, somebody sees that you're the empress, so they're blocking something out for you so you can move forward. Cause somebody's like getting away from this devil energy. Give me one more. Well, yeah, nine of swords. And somebody's stressed out because now they feel defeated because now you can walk into your destiny because the cycle's been closed down. Yeah, and somebody else, their emotions is all over the place. <clears throat> and they don't want me to say that neither. They don't want anyone to know that their emotions is all over the place because they know that they had bad intentions. Like, somebody's realizing this, like... <laughs> in your way because they can't find their own what did i say this is like y'all evil twin because you guys are on a sacred mission here yeah something was literally meant for you to do this is who you are i can't make this up something was meant for you okay as long as you focus your energy on healing you will continue to grow so it's like you are not in competition with nobody but yourself you are your biggest competition so if you focus your energy on your own healing process then that's what you will do. You will heal. New levels, new devils. Prayers go up. Blessings come down. So it's like you are facing another test and you're passing it. Just keep praying her and keep being a blessing. Prayer. I can't make this up. Confirmation. God, I'm telling you. It's like you are on a sacred mission. It's just you and God. And this person wanted to be like your evil twin. And yeah, that's, that's weird. They didn't want to let you go, so they lied to slow you down because they wanted they didn't want you to move on because you're a light worker and you have good vibes. If somebody knows this, okay, fake bitch. Y'all can't make this up. It's it's hoes fake. She's your evil twin. <laughs> She's your evil twin. Karma gonna fuck all of them up. I'm telling you. <laughs> like what? Somebody is doing blood magic and you are aware of the fuck shit. <sighs> so protect yourself. You are feeling somewhat confused by the events that are unfolding around you and the various seemingly contradictory information that is coming your way. Trust your instincts and do what they are telling you to do. You will learn a lot about yourself in the direction you want your life to take. So yeah, I feel like somebody, like I said, they could have been trying to manipulate energy to confuse you about something and it didn't work. Or this is what they were trying to do to this masculine, like. So the information you are receiving could be like kind of like confusing as well but it's because somebody was trying to manipulate the energy 
Count all your blessings, even the small ones. Show gratitude and appreciation for all that you have in your life and all that has yet to come into it. Your best days are still ahead of you. Isn't that wonderful thought? Yeah, think about the positive. Confirmation, what's that? Have more faith in yourself. Be proud of how you are navigating every curveball that life throws at you. How you deal with those times shows your true inner resilience. Nothing can break that. That in itself is an inspiration for others. Keep shining your light. Yeah, somebody wanted you to feel like you wasn't an inspiration. Or you face challenges and they laughed at this, but now they're facing the same challenges because they wanted to be like your evil twin. And it's like, okay keep that same energy <laughs> i'm gonna keep that same energy perhaps you are reminded all too often just how quickly the faces in your life can shift one change after another you are learning to adapt and grow be kind and gentle with yourself yeah so be kind and gentle with yourself because somebody wanted you to be hard on yourself to uh beat yourself up beat yourself down for like i said it's just, just words. people are worried y'all give me one card unconditional love my heart is free from resentment towards others i open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being i'm aware that suffering can cause distress and hurting people i see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness you know so you guys have unconditional love one 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 as i say this this is very important forgiveness is for you not for them so even if somebody does something to you you understand that you have to turn everything into light okay everything turns to light i work to improve myself I embrace all that life brings me and transform darkness into light. I allow myself to grow and become stronger. Yeah, and somebody, they didn't want you to grow. They wanted you to feel like you had to stay stuck in the dark or, you know, because this is how they feel. We have serenity through love, release, and release in inner work. I know peace. I have gentle view of life and welcome every step with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. So, yeah, like I said, you guys have a lot of inner strength. So if you are going through something right now, it's like God God is literally telling you, this is who you are. You have to embrace your imperfections, okay? Nobody's perfect, okay? You you can go through challenges, but you have to acclimate the energy. You have to turn it into something better. You have to create it into something that is solely for you, like that is going to help you grow in your energy field, okay? Whew. Yeah, I pretend to be somebody I'm not just to keep him. So, yeah, somebody was really pretending to be somebody. Bless you, baby. But trust the process, girl. And that's facts. <laughs> okay, that's all I got for y'all. Love and light. Namaste. Ashe.